Hi, welcome to this short video session on SAP S4 HANA. I made this video targeting SAP basis consultants. In fact, I've been one of those for quite some time now. I make it clear at the beginning that this is not a marketing video. Neither does not does it contain any content that espouses the superiority of this product. This video, I believe, is relevant to scores of people, in particular SAP basis consultants who would have quite basic questions about what this new product is, new product in the market is, and how was implementation consultants in the technical area they would be relevant. Okay, so with for no further waste of time, let's jump into the topic. The first question is, what does SAP is for HANA? There is a common misunderstanding that S4 is the next version of EHP release of ECC 6.0 from SAP. But that is not true. S4 is the next generation business speed software from SAP, a completely new product line. We all know SAP started with R2 V back when most of us were not even born, <laughs> and then R3, and then ECC, and then different versions of EHP on top of that. And as a continuation of this, the next release is called S4. So the immediate question that, come, that would come into to anybody's uh, mind is, how do I upgrade my existing ECC system to S4? As I said a few minutes back, S4 is a new product. The correct term, therefore, is to not upgrade and but convert. So essentially, we convert a system into S4. And this conversion is possible only from ECC 6 EHP um, 0 onwards. I mean, it can, it can be from EHP 0 until EHP 7. So if you're running ECC 5 system currently, you first need to upgrade to ECC 6 in EHP, uh, though what is recommended is EHP 7 and then convert the system into S4. But here's one very important thing. S4, uh, as a matter of fact, EHP 8 support only Unicode. So in case your source system is non-Unicode, uh, conversion to Unicode is mandatory before S4 conversion. Okay, so now comes the question. If conversion from an existing ECC is the only way to approach S4, the answer is no. There are quite other ways also. The first approach, I mean, uh, the second approach uh, in the order is also to build a new S4 system Migrate only the relevant data needed for your business and then use the simple system for all your business activities. This approach is called Greenfield Implementation. And, and the next being an approach where you consolidate all here are multiple ERP systems, uh, be that SAP or non-SAP, 
into one S4 system. Each might go into different business clients in the new system. And then you migrate the data from, from all those legacy uh, SAP or non-SAP systems to, to S4 to, to leverage the data from S4 for all further business processing. We have to remember that such conversion, such implementation requires huge cost and efforts and we must say that these are huge projects that require business users and, and consultants from various departments to be involved. Technical, functional, techno-functional, application consultants and all that. So that, that, that's just to be borne in mind. Okay, uh, let me start off with, uh, with, with the Greenfield approach. As simple as it sounds, here you build a new S4 system using Software Provisioning Manager and then migrate the existing systems using different tools. SAP S4 HANA Migration Cockpit, SAP S4 HANA Migration Object Modeler, SAP Data Services. All we must know is that the new system that 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 is just built comes with SAP business practice, SAP best practices, sorry, SAP best practices, SAP guided configuration, all 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 uh, pre-configured, and these basically provide the predefined content for S4 migration. So during this Greenfield implementation, basis consultants would also be required to create a new best practices client as a client copy from client triple zero using the profile SAP underscore cust. And then download the most recent best practices content relevant for your SAP S4 HANA release and then activate the best practices content. From here onwards, the application consultant will start off with the activities like customizing and migration, etc. The next in the order is brownfield approach. When the customer or, or, or the company decides to implement S4 HANA by only converting the existing systems to S4, the first step in the process for a basis or a technical consultant is to use the maintenance planner. We all know the maintenance planner URL. Yeah, we use that to download the tools, archives, stack XML to the download basket that are, that are necessary for a new S4 release. So the application consultants will, will, will also have to do some pre-checks like custom code evaluation the custom code written on your source release is also relevant on your target S4 release as well. 
they'll, they will also ev have to evaluate the data model changes in the new release. When that is done, we can use the software update manager, Zoom, to carry out the technical activities like software upgrade, database migration if necessary, and data conversion. Application consultants will have to do the custom code adaptation and other steps, if any. Of course, when the system is already, the technical monitoring of system performance is a very important step post the conversion. The last but not the least is the approach called landscape transformation. Here, uh, as, as uh, the, the scale of migration, data migration, by a consolidation of multiple SAP and non SAP systems is high. This is generally advised for large enterprises. The business should decide which data need to go into the system, new to the new system. The application consultants will be able to use the tools like S4HANA migration cockpit to migrate the data objects to the new system. It's generally said that many tools for landscape transformation are still in the evolution stage. We have come to the end of this presentation. I hope I made it reasonably clear what S4HANA is and what are the possible approaches to move to S4HANA. If you have any questions, please post them on the comment section. I'll be glad I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you.